The Roz and Mocha Show. Kiss 92.5. Back. Dude. This is my movie. I counted, you said, like, the guy said, like, Sherman, uh, like, t- over 200 times. When can you ever say that you're going to a movie going, this is my movie? Uh, well, <laughs> I guess, I guess uh, if, if the movie was called Mr. Peabody and Rob, it'd be my movie. <laughs> but it's not, so completely mine. Yeah. Do, I absolutely loved this movie. I think it is so amazing for the entire family, adults, children, like, there's humor for everybody, and it is just brilliant. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you. How, uh, like, what was the process in wanting to do it now? Why now? Um, well, you know what? I actually started it 12 years ago, so it wasn't exactly now. Uh, uh, but I thought when I first, you know, talked about the idea that it would be a wonderful movie to make uh, based on characters that I loved growing up. Okay, now, is it, am I wrong? Was it always Peabody and Sherman? It used to be Sherman and Peabody, right? You know what? That's an interesting uh, uh, thing. A lot of people will call it Sherman and Peabody because that's how they remember it, but it was always called Mr. Peabody and Sherman. Uh, and yet somehow, you know, it's interchangeable to some degree, I guess. Now, did you have, because one thing I loved about this film, because I'm all about puns. Puns are my absolute favorite thing, and they're, it's riddled throughout this movie. Yeah. Um, I know on our show, Roz is like against puns. He <laughs> completely protests when I do puns. So you're going to get that. You're going to get the people who don't love the puns, but I love the puns. And the anti-puns. Well, you know, uh, puns were a big part of the original show. Every show ended with with a pun, and and we knew we had to do that in the movie. But don't you think puns are, like, that's a form of amazing humor. Puns are genius. Yeah, I think uh, puns are are maybe, you know, not not as uh, as appreciated as they ought to be. Uh, But absolutely, they are... uh, uh, they can be wonderful. They can also be groan-inducing, but uh, but we like the ones that... That's my... Whenever I do a pun on the show, I get a groan okay. from Roz. It's a kind of a... Cl- well, that's kind of the classic relationship between puns and their audience. You know, groans yeah. are sometimes what, what one does. Um, but, you know, uh, we had to do it. So there, there was really no way around it. And the truth is, is that it took us a long time to figure out that first pun, but that once we did, you know, the floodgates were open and then we, we just kept coming up with them. Now, tell me the process of picking the people who did the voices for this, because they're perfect. Cast perfectly. Were they all your first choice? Um, well, in the case of Ty Burrell, uh, we, we, we actually uh, brought him in for an audition uh, in the first year of Modern Family, so he wasn't nearly as famous as he's become. Uh, and, uh, and since then, you know, over the last three years, the show has just become an enormous hit all over the world. And uh, uh, we thought at the time we hired him because he was the right guy for the role, not because he was famous, but now he's probably more famous than, uh, than, than, than we thought he would be. Um, uh, you know, we... You know, Matt, Max Charles, who plays Sherman, uh, he was eight years old when we cast him. And in fact, when I first talked about this movie 12 years ago, he wasn't even alive. Wow. So, yes, exactly. I mean, that blows my mind even. Um, uh, you know, uh, Ariel Winter, uh, we loved her when we first uh, saw her in audition. We didn't really even know that she was actually a part of Modern Family. And the fact that her and Ty were on the same show together wasn't really the reason we cast her, but she's fantastic. And it's really tough to play a part like that because Penny uh, is a character that, you know, we love, but, you know, she's tough. You know, she's a strong-willed girl. She's got kind of an edge. And uh, and we needed somebody to play her in a way that was yeah. kind of appealing and charming. And she did a great job. Now, if you look at your um, pedigree or repertoire, <laughs> don't use words unless you know what they mean. Um, you know, you're known for some of amazing musical cartoons as well. Lion King just brings me to tears every single time I watch it. That was my movie growing up. This one, not, there's not, uh, it's not a musical. So sort of, were you ever considering putting song into this? Well, there, there are, uh, well, there is a song. There's the, the John Lennon song, Beautiful Boy. Uh, but, but that's just the song. Like, they didn't say. Right. Oh, you mean actually a yeah. breakout uh, into song musical. <laughs> I, I, you know, we didn't, we didn't uh, consider that, although you never know, maybe we'll uh, turn it into a Broadway show. Please? Could you? Yeah, well, I'd love to see my name in lights. Well, okay. okay. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll, we'll get uh, Julie Tamer on, on it right away. Fantastic. Yes, because she did The Lion King. She did The Lion King. Exactly. <laughs> maybe Elton will write songs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, I want to ask you about this, because the movie is, is uh, it's Fox, right? It is. Family Guy is Fox. Did Brian Griffin, did he, was he, uh, did he audition for this and didn't get the part? Uh, you know, he, his agent called uh, and, and kind of begged, actually. And we said, you know, uh, we'd already failed the role. 
because now there's this whole thing about talking dogs, right? Now we're all loving geniuses by, like, there's Brian Griffin, there's now um, Peabody. Yes, exactly. Well, uh, you know, Peabody came first. Let's not forget that. And I think Seth MacFarlane has acknowledged his debt uh, to Jay Ward, uh, the original creation of Mr. Peabody. It was actually 1959. Wow. So what do you think the message in this film is that you're wanting people to get out of the movie? Well, you know, I think it's about, uh, it's about alternative families. It's about the fact that a dog can adopt a boy and be a good father. And uh, uh, I think it's about history. It's about using the way back to time travel to these incredible places and meet these incredible historical figures like, like King Tut, for example, whose name rhymes with butt. And, <laughs> and I'd like that. I'd like the audience to take that away. Perfect. Dude, congratulations. Thank you so much. I honestly loved this movie. And I know that my little brothers, Daniel and Kyle, because they're Shermans too, they're going to just find this so super cool as well. Well, as we know, it was made for them. <laughs> That's right. Thank you very much. You're very welcome.